The Public Accounts Committee of Parliament today continued its public hearing into the 2016 Auditor General's report on ministries, departments and other agencies questioning officials of some critical state agencies. There's more on the PAC sittings in the following reports by Sixtus Donulo. Three institutions appeared before the committee today. The Attorney General's Department, the Registrar General's Department and the Ministry of Roads and Highways. On the Roads and Highways Ministry, the report observes that six projects valued over 12.4 million Ghana cities had been abandoned. The contractors, according to the audit report, had failed to resume work despite several warnings issued to them by the supervising consultants. This, the auditors observe, not only denied the communities good access roads, but may also result in an upward review of the project cost. Parliament has made some major changes to its leadership on various committees with the likes of Mahama Ayariga, Joseph Yilichere and Fifi Kweti losing their positions in the latest report on the recomposition of the committees of the House. According to the report which has been passed by the House, Borga East MP Dr. Dominic Kaine is now the chairman of the subsidiary legislation committee replacing Boku Central MP Mahama Ayariga. City News' Duke Mensah Opoku has the details from Parliament. According to the report, which has been passed by the House, Borga East MP, Dr. Dominic Aine, is chairman of the subsidiary legislation committee, replacing Boku Central MP, Mahama Yarga. Jwaboso MP, Kwamna Minta Akando, also replaces former health minister, Joseph Yele Chere, as the ranking member on the health committee. Ketu South MP, Fifi Kweti, has been replaced as ranking member on the trade, industry and tourism committee, by Elembele MP Emmanuel Amakufibwa. Sam Snahi has been replaced as ranking member on Works and Housing Committee by Whole West MP Emmanuel Bejra. On the side of the majority, Collins Osua Mankwa has been made chairman of the Government Assurance Committee, replacing Mansu Adubia MP Yafrimpon Ado, who takes over as chairman of Environment Science and Technology Committee, which was chaired by the late MP Emmanuel Jacob, former Deputy Agricultural Minister. William Japon Kwetu is now chairman of the local government committee. It is unclear what considerations went into the various changes, apart from some former committee leaders serving on the ECOWAS and AU parliament. And some students at the University of Education Winneba earlier today took to the streets to demonstrate against the sacking of some lecturers of the university. The students clad in red and wielding placards with the inscription, bring back our lecturers among others, went round campus registering their displeasure at the development. They described the action by the vice chancellor as arbitrary and called for an immediate reversal. Meanwhile, the minister of state in charge of tertiary education Professor Kwisiyanka, after meeting with school authorities for several hours, asked the governing council to address the matter to restore calm to the school. Professor Yanka urged calm among the agitated students and asked them to return to the classroom tomorrow. So I listened painstakingly to various accounts given. And don't forget that this was not a court case where you have arraigned uh, those witnesses and uh, persecution and so on and so forth. It was just listening to a narrative of events that happened, the sequel of events that led to uh, what happened uh, yesterday and what is happening now. Former chairman of the opposition National Democratic Congress, uh, Dr. Kwabna EJ passed on earlier today, March 12, at the Ridge Hospital in Accra. Dr. EJ, who was battling with a protracted illness, died three days after marking his 76th birthday on the 9th of March this year. He ventured into politics in 1978 and served in many portfolios before leaving the scene as a chairman of the NDC. There is more about Dr. Kwabna EJ in this report. Born on March 9, 1943, Dr. Kobleje is credited with some unique achievements as an executive appointee and an NDC party man from 1987 to 2019. He hailed from Inkonya in Chumuru in the Volta region and was an academician, politician and a businessman. He studied psychology at the University of Ghana in 1970. He graduated with a PhD in research methods and statistics in psychology from the University of Strathclyde, Glasgow, Scotland in 1973. He taught for five years at the University of Maiduguri in Nigeria. He entered politics in 1986 when he was appointed PNDC Deputy Secretary for the Volta region. 
Now, imagine visiting the hospital during an emergency as a deaf and dumb person without a sign language interpreter to help you communicate. Well, this is the reality for over 2,000 deaf and dumb persons in the northern region where there is no single sign language interpreter in any public health facility. The Ghana Federation of the Disabled says it is concerned about this development because it literally denies its members their rights to health. City News' Maxwell Souk reports. Dozens of them converge opposite the Tamale West Hospital, mostly a rush hours to interact among themselves through the power of the sign language. These are persons who lost their hearing and speaking abilities permanently and can barely hear what goes on around them. Among the many challenges they face, the topmost is access to healthcare services whenever any of them visits a health facility. According to the 2010 population census, the northern region alone had 1,850 persons with speech impairment. The number may have shot up in 2019 as new cases are being recorded often at the hospitals and deaf and dumb schools. Tamale has only three professional sign language interpreters, but they have not been engaged permanently by any public institution. Ataula Ibrahim is one of them. He has often been called upon to facilitate communication at the hospitals when members fall sick. Ghana is a signatory to the UN Convention on Persons with Disabilities, which mandates the state to provide platforms that would ensure that persons with disabilities are not discriminated in healthcare provisions. Stephen Azantulu is the Northern Regional Director of the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice. He says the absence of sign language interpreters at public service points means a group of Ghanaians are being denied their constitutional rights. Now, the month of March has been christened the Heritage Month by City FM and City TV. And as such, a number of events have been lined up to make the season a memorable one. Following the overwhelming success of the Heritage Caravan, the Accra Music Expo slated for the 16th of March is set to thrill lovers of indigenous god music at the four courts of the AMA. The Accra Music Expo is a special event focused on celebrating and promoting indigenous Ghan music. It will be the precursor to CTFM's Music of Ghanaian Origin concept, Mogo 2019. Also, in the month of March, dubbed the Heritage Month by CTFM and City TV, 